Good afternoon, Dr. Kelly. How are you today? I'm great, Linda. How are you doing? I'm very good. Boy, I know you've been a busy girl. You've been European traveling and traveling in different places <laughs> in New York. And so it, it was a little bit hard to catch up with you, but I'm glad that we were able to find a time and that you were willing to um, do this interview with me. I want to introduce our audience to Dr. Kelly uh, Lis... <laughs> I always say Lisandro, but it's Lisandro. Lisandro. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, yes, thank you. I don't know. I want to throw that I in there. So yeah. thank you for helping me with that. And um, I just love your story. You know, when you first called and shared a little bit of, you know, how you learned about us, I thought, oh, hot dog, this is going to be somebody that is really gonna it's really gonna make a difference in your practice because it made such a difference in your life personally so i would love for you to share that with everyone oh absolutely so i will introduce myself as a physician in a direct primary care practice in rochester new york i started my own practice in january and i really um, started the practice to focus on primary care but also to be able to to um, provide shape reclaimed um, wellness program to my to my community and to my patients, which I wasn't able to do in in a traditional um, um, hospital based outpatient practice. So right. this was this was exactly what I wanted to do, and it turned out to be um, everything I wanted it to be. I'm still growing and I'm still building, but this is it's so. It's so wonderful to come to work every day, and I am helping people. I'm not treating disease anymore. Um, I am right. treating disease, but I'm trying to prevent disease now. So I'm fo I'm focusing on lifestyle medicine um, and um, lifestyle change, and I am primarily promoting shape reclaimed um, as part as the main focus of that part of my practice. So I am. I am a physician, so I do prescribe medication. I do um, treat disease. I do all that. But um, I found that my passion really is shape reclaimed. And that's that's how I got here. So I'll tell my story, though, because I'm a client become yeah. practitioner. And um, it took me about a month, I think, to contact you to talk about becoming a practitioner when I started um, in October of 2022. So I um I've been I've been referring people to um, a, a local um, practitioner for years, and I was watching them come in with these great weight losses and feeling so good, and I kept saying I've got to go, I've got to make the time for me, I've got to go and see. Um, it was Barb Goshorn with Goshorn Wellness um, in Rochester, New York. Um, I said, I have to make the time to go see her. I've seen these, you know, women coming in saying, I feel so good. You know, my, my hemoglobin A1C is now normalized, which is a three month blood test for diabetes. I'm off my medication. Um, I've lost 50 pounds. I feel so good. And, um, I'm, I'm not missing anything. I'm not looking for anything food wise. So I was hearing over and over again that the, you know, the shape drops, um, were a big part of it, but the nutritional part of it was probably bigger and, you know, being able to make your own food, eat your own food, you know, eat clean and healthily. Um, so I was hearing it over and over again and I said, I have to do it. I have to do it. <laughs> so I decided I, I was probably my highest weight in September of 2022, and I did a medical mission. I went to Guatemala for a month, or uh, for a week, I'm sorry, and treated a lot of patients in Guatemala. And what was amazing to me is they were on no medication. There were, pa they were patients that had never seen a physician, and they were in their 70s. And... I'm treating blood pressure. I'm treating headaches. A lot of their complaints are mainly musculoskeletal complaints from chopping wood. They'd have tennis elbow. Um, I was, it was a life changing um, experience for me. 
I I really questioned what I was doing as a physician in 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 the United States. What am I doing? I'm pushing medication. I'm not really focusing on, you know, health and wellness. I'm treating disease, I'm not preventing disease. And it was really very inspiring and uh, eye-opening for me what I was doing. And I questioned it. And I'd never really questioned my profession before. I I had never been in that situation where I've seen over and over again people who'd never been on a medication, never seen a physician, and certainly never been treated for anything. And here I am treating them. And you know what? I'm treating them naturally. I'm not giving them medication. Yeah. I, you know, ha- it, it, was, it was amazing. So I came back. And I came back and it was, uh, I had a lot of spiritual things go on with me during the, the trip. It was really, it was a life changing um, um, trip for me. Um, I came back and I, I ran to that appointment for Shaper Claimed. It was time for me. It was time for me to get healthy and focus on my health and wellness instead of everyone else's. So I went and saw um, um, Amy, who works under, who was working under Barb, and I started Shape and I lost. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, that, that's not even the big part of it. The weight loss was really fast and I couldn't believe it. Um, but what happened to me was this mental clarity, this, this, um, um, full of energy and confidence and, uh, mental clarity. Like I had never, ever experienced before. And I, I'm a physician, so I, I, you know, I pride myself on my ability to think. And I realized I'd never felt this way before. I started eating clean. I started eating the uh, nutri, the shape nutritional protocol, and I'm losing weight. It's dropping off of me. But what was bigger than that is all of my physical ailments went away. My irritable bowel went away. And I was as sharp as sharp can be. And I kept saying my, uh, my non-scale wins are bigger than my scale wins. And I don't even care <laughs> yeah. about scale anymore. And I, I, within a month, I'm talking to you going, I cannot believe the change in me. I could put my fork down. I could listen to my body. I could make choices that I'd never made before. I mean, you know, for, for obese and overweight women, you know, there's a reason why we're obese and overweight. And it's usually what we're putting in our bodies, but also, you know, our imbalances. And I certainly now in retrospect, I had hormone imbalance. I had neurologic imbalance. And I certainly had um, a problem with my metabolism. Right. So well, You know, go ahead. So everything that shaped, promised happened to me yeah yeah <laughs> life-changing <Surprise>. yeah <laughs> that is so great you know dr todd has always always said that well you know he he's always about brain health and he said man taking shape drops just keeps me mentally yes alert and clear yes. and i can just you know he's he's you know got a real sharp brain anyway but he said that just um, really helps accentuate it. So that's really great. Yeah. You know, I love, um, well, we work with practitioners from all disciplines. Um, you know, the lion's share of our practitioners do not come from mainstream medicine. So when we get folks like you that leave the, you know, we tease and call it the dark side, not, you know, we need mainstream medicine. I'm so grateful and thankful for it, but they don't put the focus and emphasis on the things that we do in, in prevention. And we've got another medical doctor that um, was three miles from our office. And this happened back in 2012. And um, he had a lot of Dr. Todd's mutual patients. And he, he finally called and he said, I need to know what it is you're doing with this thing called shape reclaimed. I don't even know what this is, but I am lowering medication needs. I'm taking people off of medications. Labs are improving like left and right. And they're all saying they're working with you. And I need to know what this is. And Todd said, you know, we're having a, we're having our first um, symposium, you know, come and be my guest. And he came and he walked away saying, okay, I've got to be a shape practitioner. And he jumped on board and he too, Dr. Kelly was, um, was um, licensed with a hospital conglomerate and um, they 
they owned him, I guess, you know, yeah. he worked for them. And he was about three months into using shape and they got wind of him using shape. And they're like, you, you can't use this. This isn't, this isn't a drug. And he's like, but, but it's the first time that I am taking people off of blood yes. pressure and, and, and blood sugar and lipid meds and healing gut health and, and autoimmune symptoms are improving. And this is the first time in my career that I am seeing these kind of changes. And, and I, I don't want to stop. And he had three more months left in his contract. And I think you had a little bit more, like maybe six or more months in your contract. He did not renew his contract. <clears throat> Excuse me. He went off on his own. And um, here he is still, you know, a shape practitioner. And about two years after he was on his own, he sent a letter out to his patients saying, you know, when I left on my own, I, you know, I'm primary care, but I, I don't want to be that guy that is just renewing prescriptions. I want to work with people that truly want to heal. And he made it really clear. I'm no longer going to accept insurance. I'm going cash only. I'm, I'm evolving and it's going to be a wellness practice. And, and shape acclaimed is the foundation of my practice and people that want to truly make changes. That's who I want to yeah. work with. And the guy still rocks and is doing really well. So when you called me, I was like, hot dog, you know, here we go. We've got another that really sees the value and your conscience, you know, stepped up and said, there is another yeah. way. Yes. And, you know, talking about stopping medications, my own personal experience, I went from nine medications to two. <laughs> so I go, I, this is crazy. Like, well, I'm saving money on copays. I'm not taking prescription medication. And I've done that with diet and shape drops. And that, oh my gosh. Right. I, I'm very well, proud of that. <laughs> that is so great. You know, when Todd developed the drops, he just, um, you know, first of all, it was for the menopausal female, yes. you know, that, you know, you know, hormones are so crazy controlling and manipulative and you know we try so hard to take care of ourselves and they just are ruling the yeah. roost and so you know it started yeah. for that menopausal female you know for me first and um when he started putting this formula together he thought you know what i'm just going to support this and this and this and this and when people really understand the value of what those drops do, it really does enhance the communication between the hypothalamus and the pituitary. And that's the one place in the body where those two talk and send clear endocrine messages down to the body and miracles happen, you know, and you're seeing it, you're seeing it in your practice. Do you have any, um, uh, besides yourself, because that's a really wonderful, amazing testimony. Any um, patient stories that you can share with us? Yes, I have. So I have two women that are in their 60s. Um, one lost. She felt wonderful. And she lost, I think, 40 pounds and normalized her BMI. She had a BMI of 29.6. She didn't really need to lose much. Um, and she, she didn't. You know, she didn't even look bad. <laughs> she got to a BMI yeah. of 23.6 and feels like a million bucks. And I, what I have said all along is if you told me that a postmenopausal woman could get to a normal BMI, I would say you were crazy. And I have two that did right. it. So I have two and they were right. very similar. And actually I have three now. I have a third. Very similar in their starting weights. And they were not that big. Um, but they have normal yeah. BMIs, and I am just flabbergasted by the ability to, you know, feel good, look good, lose weight, and have, you know, balance again. They're not gaining weight back. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, they're not gaining, gaining I mean, weight back. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. You know. Yeah, we want that for everyone. Yes. I mean, I mean, every healthcare professional, their their oath is first do no harm, yep. first do no harm. And unfortunately, in mainstream medicine today, they're all about managing disease. Yes. And big pharma is oh, all yes. about, you know, setting up lifetime customers. And we're like, wait a minute, wait a yep. minute. You know, we we don't want you having to 
to depend on these medications. Now we're not against yes. because there are, there are there are situations that we need medications. We do, and thank God for it. Thank God for emergency medicine. We're so grateful for it. But mainstream um, medical education does not put any focus on nutrition. They don't. And it doesn't make any sense to me if we understand if we've got a car, we have to put gas and oil in it for it to run. And if you try to put any other thing in there, that that machine is not going to run. The same with our body. God created yeah. us to function, you know, from nutrition that he had put on this yeah. earth. And that's what we're supposed to be eating. But, you know, the whole food industry is they need major oversight because that's what's causing yes. all of our health problems and disease. And Absolutely. I'm so grateful that we have some candidates out there right now talking about oversight for the food industry and for big pharma and stuff. So, Absolutely. you know, I'm all for that. I mean, you know, we're, we're over four decades in healthcare and to think that we could have, you know, some government leadership that could possibly, you know, go after and really address what we've been saying all along to our patients. Like, don't eat that stuff. If it has a shelf life, it's just got a yes. bunch of chemicals. No. Don't eat Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I feel so, how what do you think? I feel that, you know, my the nutritional protocol, I should have been eating this way my whole life. I should not right. have been eating processed foods. I should have been, a right. been able to make these choices. You know, we it's been instilled in us, you know, as Americans, that the American fare, the American diet, and the food pyramid that we learned is the right, right. is the right way to eat. And it made, it made us sicker and obese. And just so broken broken it's, the whole system is it is very broken. very broken and i do say to people this is not a diet this is lifestyle this is how we should have been doing it all along so when you yeah. when you say you want your bread back i say but it's all it's processed it's refined it's it's right. it's not healthy for us and there's alternative right. there are alternatives to that you know natural yeah, alternatives absolutely absolutely yeah and we say, look, you know, shape's not meant to be a prison sentence. You know, we're going to have you eating really clean for a, for a season because we've got to turn around that inflammation. We've got to get your immune system strengthened. You know, we, we've got to get this toxic weight off your body because we store toxins in our fat cells. So we've got to get rid of that. And then we're going to slowly start adding foods back. I say food friends. They're really not friends. They usually are the culprit that's causing all the health problems in the first place. But, you know, there's room eventually to add some things back and and hopefully you, your body is going to do OK. But over and over and over again, we have seen that when people start adding some of that stuff back, their symptoms start to rise back up again. Yeah. Their weight starts to rise back up. So we we as shape practitioners have to help them find that yes. balance point of what works and you know, look, we're a family that that loves bread. We love bread. We would never go out and just buy Wonder Bread. That that to me is just garbage. But you know, there are some good, healthy dents made out of really good, healthy grains, and there's a place for you to be able to eat that down the road. But at the beginning, we've got to just eat a real clean, yeah. anti-inflammatory yes. diet. And um, you know, we are sympathetic because we understand that it is not easy to change your relationship yeah. with food if all you've ever known is is junk food and and right. fast food if that's all you've ever known and you don't know to eat fresh yeah. fruits and vegetables and you know lean proteins and and all this stuff you know it's it's a rude awakening for a lot of people yeah and it and it is but when and it is hard for people to understand that our food pyramid was wrong <laughs> Wrong. It was wrong, right? It was it wrong. Was wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, that is, it is just so great. Now, you know, once you teach them and they really start unding, 
understanding that food is medicine, that they've got to embrace, uh, you know, a new relationship with food and, and really develop uh, a new lifestyle. Something we say we want to settle in on a lifestyle that that you're satisfied with. You're not feeling deprived because if they're feeling deprived, they're yes. going to go off the deep end and just go hog wild. And, you know, uh, uh, we confess all the time when people go, what, you eat ice cream? Yeah, we eat ice cream on occasion. We have pizza, We, but we do the healthier yeah. version. You know, we try to do a healthier version of, yeah. of everything that we do because we think yes. there is healthier versions. But um, we don't have to live... It, you know, in misery, right. we can we eat clean and healthy and not live in misery. And there's room for us to have a little wiggle room. How many of your patients do you feel really get it when you you're working with them and spending time educating them? How many really get that um, staying the course with choosing a cleaner diet will help maintain them? What what percent do you think really get it? I mean, some we say have to have that two by four upside the head and they'll yeah. go right back to their old toxic habits and wind up right back where they are and they have to start all yeah. over again. You know? I would say probably 70%. I know. That's awesome. Yeah, That's I do. Awesome. I do spend a lot of time with my clients um, because I do think it's important. Yeah. I want them to be successful. I want them to heal. Um, so I think that, right. you know, offering them alternatives, there's great recipes on the Shape or Claim site. There, I say you can still have everything you love. It, you just make it at home and it looks a little different. Yeah. And when you go out, you choose a yeah. lean protein and you have vegetables, have a salad with a little bit of dressing. You know, you can still go out and enjoy yeah. life. Um, but when you're home, you can have all the things you love. Yeah. You just make it a little different. And I have people coming yeah. in saying, oh, this recipe is great. And the sandwich rounds, I'm having to wrap every day. And now I'm hooked on sandwich rounds. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, my, my <laughs> couple that, that have been doing the sandwich rounds, they both lost 36 pounds in like three months. Oh, yeah. And they feel uh -huh. so good. And one yeah. of them is the new, B, the new um, normal BMI. There are so many... There's so many options and they're not hard. You know, the pan fakes, they're not right. hard. Nothing's hard. Nothing takes a lot of time. And I think that is one of the biggest yeah. barriers is I don't have time to be in the kitchen. I don't have time to prepare. I don't have time to prep. And I say, can you do a half an hour twice a week? You know, can you put a little bit of time into it, you know, every day, but not, I don't spend the majority of my life in a kitchen. I've got a busy life. I can't afford right. to do that. But do I, right, right, but I eat too. clean. I'm in my kitchen as much as I need to be, to be healthy and to yeah. heal and to stay the course of what I'm doing. I, I, I make it, we, Shaper Plain makes it really easy. And I make it really easy for people to eat clean. Wow. You know, we would recommend to our patients all the time, look, half the battle is what you yeah. bring in your home. If you don't bring that garbage yeah. in your home when you're stressed or when you're whatever, you're oh, yeah. bored, you're whatever you do, you're not grabbing that, you know, keep foods in your home yes. that are healthier for you. This, this makes sense. And, you know, make it fun, you know. You know, I take an apple and slice it into really, really thin slices, you know, and then, you know, I'll just be munching on my little apple as I'm going yeah. along. And, you know, fruit is a big satisfier for sweet tooth. We love putting blueberries in the freezer and just nibbling on frozen blueberries. And, you know, somebody was saying, oh, they wanted ice cream. And we're like, OK, well, there's there's recipes on our website that you can do that. You can make fruit smoothies. You can, you know, a lot of people are doing yeah. like yogurt with fruit or whatever the case may be and they're they're feeling very very satisfied uh do you recommend periodic detox detox and cleanse like once they've reached their health goal and their weight goal um do you circle back with them i, I will just say in our practice when we were in private practice dr todd would say Listen, I want to see you twice a year just as a maintenance visit, just to, you know, stay on top of it because I don't want you to fall back into 
old habits and lose so much ground. So I'd rather check you periodically. And then he would say, you know what, let's do a 21 day detox. Tell me how that, how that is in your practice. I can't, I've lost some clients to follow up. They've reached phase three. They're not gaining weight. They're doing well, but they'll call me and say, you know, I want, I want some drops. You know, I want to come in and see you. Yeah. Um, so they kind of circled back. I'm about nine months into my private practice. Um, so, yeah. you know, last year was a was a quiet year with shape because I had some medical issues of myself. So I wasn't able to really. Um, right. right. I remember so that. this year I'm nine months yeah. in. So, you know, I'm going to incorporate that in and, you know. Make sure I have reminders. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, longer, reminders. Come back in. Right. The longer you're doing shape and the more and more people that do shape, you know, there's going to be time down the road. And so it's a good idea. We recommend to our shape practitioners all the time, you know, if you haven't seen somebody in a year, yes. give them a buzz or a call and say, hey, yes. how are you doing? You know, have you maintained? Is your blood sugar still stable? Is your digestion still good? you know, talk to them at the level of where yes. you help them and see how they're doing. And if not, just say, let's do a reboot. Let's just do like, a. T- I mean, in 21 days, shape can oh, accomplish yes. so much in 21 days, even though a bottle of drops will last 30 to 40. Todd would always start them on a 21 day. And then at the end of 21 days, he would say, you know, you got another week or 10 days of drops. Can I get you to finish that bottle of drops and they would go, yes, because, you know, I'm down another eight pounds or my hands aren't hurting and I don't have gas and bloating or, you know, come up with whatever. So that's good. Well, Dr. Kelly, it is just, it's wonderful. I know you're still, you're still new in your private practice. I'm proud of you that you were strong enough to say there is a better way. And I feel that Um, I can help my patients better if I do roll out on my own because then I don't have to answer to anyone. I can do what I feel is right for my patients. And I think, you know, I think your practice is just going to continue to grow and grow and grow. The more shape people that have success, the more their circle of influence sees and they'll go, what are you yes. doing? And then they're going to refer them to you and you're just going to keep growing and growing. So that's wonderful. In fact, I have to tell you, um, I don't have the name right off the top of my head right now. My, my computer is, is shut down, but we had a practitioner reach out to us, an RN who is in your area and um, her primary care, I don't know if retired or what. And she went out looking for a new primary care and she found your name in the area and she saw that you're a shape practitioner and she's like huh wonder what that is and she went on to our website and she looked at shape and she's like okay well this looks really great and then she filled out an application and she said i want to learn about shape and so i i can't even tell you what her name is right now i don't remember it but but i'll let you know and um you know she was looking for a new primary care and i yeah I said Okay, well, Dr. Kelly is wonderful. And so just her seeing that you offered shape was like, well, what is this? And I'm going to check this out. So, you know, the more we can get from mainstream medicine, the more folks we can educate and help them understand that food is yeah. medicine. We have got to get people to eat cleaner. And again, I, you know, I'm just going to go back to I'm praying that we get some yeah. government oversight that will really tackle yes. the food industry and big pharma and say, let's let's put some focus oh, and energy yeah. on prevention, you know, because, gosh, our health crisis yes. is horrific. It is. It's just terrible. Well, thanks for your time, Doc. I appreciate it so much. You're wonderful. We love supporting you and love you and, and know that we're here for you. And you can just call Thank us Thank you, anytime. Linda. I appreciate you so much. You're back. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.